Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry if I keep looking here and not there. Uh, it's just uh, I'm looking at myself instead of looking at the camera. But yeah, here's how I got 97% in my A-level chemistry exam. And if I sound a bit weird or look a bit weird, it's because I'm currently surviving off of Bonjella. <laughs> not because my mouth is in pain. Okay, so if you see my biology video, it's very, very similar to biology. Um, I used the same revision method for both of them and it worked out. Just for chemistry, I think I understood it more. That's how I got better in chemistry. Got better score in chemistry. So, in my sixth form, our teachers used to give us the printouts of the PowerPoint slides. So, you can see this is just like, this is what would have been on the smart board in lesson. And what would happen is she would go through the slides and whatever she'll say, I'll just like write down on the side. So, like, for example, this is A means. Um, whatever she said here, I would have like, put an arrow just like you know just annotate annotate the slides that's what i did and that was a really good way for me to learn but annotating the slides will help me understand later when i get home when i'm revising just so i can see what the teacher said about that certain section of the lesson it, will, it was really really helpful to me just to annotate the slides if you can't get access to the powerpoint slides just get a lined paper and write about like what the teacher says extra throughout and just write notes on it so when you come home you can read over it all right, so that's what I'll do in lesson. I'll annotate the slides, actually ask questions when there's something that I was confused about and write like the answer to my question on my handout or my piece of paper that I had in lesson. And then when I get home, I'll watch a YouTube video. Usually it's Alleyroo Chemistry or Elliot Rintel. And uh, they're, they're really useful to just explain the topic to me. Uh, I'll watch their video, make notes on it, Try and understand what the YouTube video is explaining. After watching a YouTube video, I have my separate set of notes for the YouTube video. I'll put them to the side. I'll go through my slide again, my PowerPoint slides again, the piece of paper that I had from lesson. And after reading it, I'll read over it again, see what I understand, put that to the side and write on one piece of paper the notes that I got from the PowerPoint slide. So hopefully that makes sense. And in lesson, I'll use the PowerPoint slides uh, ask questions, make notes on what the teacher says, write it on the PowerPoint slide, then go home, watch YouTube video, make notes on the YouTube video, and then read over my PowerPoint slides again, and write a separate set of notes on what I understood from the PowerPoint slides. So that'll be my day-to-day -day revision for chemistry. On the weekends, I'll usually have a Saturday rest day, or Saturday I'll be covering year 12 content if I'm in year 13. And then on the Sunday, I'll read over my notes again, or I'll watch YouTube videos again, and then I'll do fast paper questions from the topics that I learned the whole week. When I was uh, doing A-levels, I was doing three A-levels, so I had two free periods. If, for example, the lesson that I had on Monday for chemistry, I'll go home and do exactly what I explained. And then in my free period the day after, I'll read over the slides again and I'll write a separate set of notes. So I'll have three sets of notes after two days. The way I stayed organised was using folders like this uh, for my chemistry. So just see, all my stuff will be in here all my notes all my slides everything but usually with my notes i wouldn't reread them i'll just store them in here just so i have them uh if i wanted to make a separate set of notes again after a while i'll just watch allery chemistry so during exam season the way that i revised was different to this i wouldn't use my notes again instead i'll watch allery chemistry or elliot rental videos on the topics that i have on the coming test and i'll make notes on it after I made the notes on it, I'll read through the notes, put the set of notes to the side and do past paper questions. And that was it. Hopefully this video was useful. I did try making it more in detail and put more content in it than I usually do in my TikTok videos. So hopefully you found it useful. If you did, leave a like or subscribe if you haven't already. That would be appreciated. I'm aiming for a thousand subscribers in a year. So hopefully you can reach it. I'm going to have a video coming out for the maths. I'm going to have many other videos coming out. So stay tuned.